What's up, everybody? I'm Akeem Lawanson, and in your fix of entertainment news today, WB searched for both a black director and actor for their next Superman movie. Zack Snyder feared Warner Brothers would release the lawsuit and our first glimpse into the House of Dragons. Let's drop it. According to anonymous sources talking to The Hollywood Reporter, Warner Brothers and DC are committed to hiring a black director with the script for the movie being written by ta Coates and produced by J.J. Abrams. The best-selling author ta Coates is no stranger to the superhero genre as he has written acclaimed comic book runs on both Captain America and Black Panther, the latter of which influenced the smash hit Black Panther movie. According to the THR article, Warner Brothers is expecting to get the script from Coates by mid-December. Hopefully giving them enough time to find a suitable director by then. Now, one anonymous source in the THR article says it'd be tone deaf for Abrams to helm what will be the first cinematic incarnation of a black Superman. Now, though we don't know who might be stepping into the role of the Man of Steel, THR sources note that this incarnation of Superman will not be part of the overall DCEU. It'll be a standalone outing in the DC universe, much like Matt Reeves' upcoming The Batman and Todd Phillips' Joker. And similar to Phillips' Joker, the report states that one option under consideration is having the Superman movie be a period piece taking place in the 20th century. Now, if we're getting our first black Superman on the big screen, who would be the perfect candidate to fill those red shoes? or boots, I guess, in this instance. Well, the rumor mill has been spinning for quite some time, a couple of years now, that Michael B. Jordan will be stepping into the role of the Man of Steel, especially because he signed a first look deal with Warner Brothers for his production company, Outlier Society, back in 2019. Now, according to a 2019 Variety article, Jordan reportedly pitched Warner Brothers on an idea for Superman and his vision of the character, but, he wasn't ready to commit to the project at the time because filming wouldn't take place for several years and he already had quite a full plate of movies he was already filming. Warner Brothers is feverishly looking for a suitable director right now, with Coates currently cooking up a script. With all the fan art imagery of Michael B. Jordan as the Man of Steel that's been circulating on the internet, he'd definitely be a suitable choice to play Kal-El. But, you know, he actually has responded to the rumors before. I've been rumored to play Morpheus, to Superman, <laughs> to DuckTales reboot, to Power Rangers. I'm a fan of comic books, you know? I yeah. understand, you know, the fans being upset at, oh no, why are they doing this and why are they changing that? You know, I would feel the same way about certain things. So just know, if I ever were to dip and dibble and dabble in anything, it would be authentic and, and something that I feel like people would really support. Yeah, I don't know, but you know what? If those rumors of him pitching an idea to WB back in 2019 are true, he may have been the catalyst of what we're reporting now in 2021. And I'm kind of interested in how a black Superman will be portrayed on the big screen. You know, it seems like a pretty unique take on a character that, you know, he's been around for like, what? eight decades now, primarily depicted as a white male on screen throughout all of his iterations. You know, there's been, you know, a black Superman in the comics, even a black Wonder Woman in the comics, but it'll be refreshing to see this extraterrestrial from a planet far, far away depicted in a way, you know, we've never seen on the big screen before. It worked for Phillips Joker, you know, where we see the clown prince of crime presented differently. And the majority of fans that saw that movie and that depiction of the character loved it. So let's not rule out this movie before all the pieces are brought together. But you know what, I'm curious to know, what are your thoughts on this take of The Man of Steel? Who do you think would be a great director for our first black Superman? And who do you think would make a great Superman? A great black Superman? And do not say Will Smith. Y'all seen that unnecessary collateral damage he caused in the Hancock movie as Hancock. So unnecessary, man. You could have just lifted the car up and just placed it on the whatever, man. In other DC news, did you know Zack Snyder was initially afraid to stand with the fans in support of the Snyder Cut campaign? Yeah. Speaking to the Sunday Times, Snyder shared that he was worried Warner Brothers might come after him if he publicly expressed how he too was all for his true vision being realized. He said, quote, I was more worried the studio would sue me, do something to silence me. 
Now, Snyder was quiet at first, but then began sharing snippets here and there online. Y'all remember those? He was showing that there was in fact a Snyder Cut that existed out there. And then with stars like Ray Fisher, Ben Affleck, and Gal Gadot publicly showing support for the Snyder Cut, well, Warner Brothers thought, hey, we might got something on our hands here. Then the four hour long Justice League movie was eventually released on HBO Max and balance was soon restored to the DCEU. And finally, we've got our first images from the set of the HBO prequel to Game of Thrones, House of the Dragon. Yeah, taken from a lovely beach location, we see five of the key cast members looking fly as they replicate one of those old school 90s boy band CD covers where they look off into the distance. I don't know why they chose to go with that, but they did. We got Emma Darcy and Matt Smith as Princess and Prince Targaryen, Olivia Cook and Reese Evans as Alicent and Otto Hightower, and we got the homie Steve Toussaint as a character known as the Sea Snake, although he looks like King Ezekiel from The Walking Dead. I am King Ezekiel. Welcome to the kingdom. No release date just yet on the HBO series, but we'll be watching Beachside if any developments pop up. And that was your fix of entertainment news for today. I'm Akeem Lawance, and thank you all so much for watching. And now that you're all caught up on the news, go check out that Loki teaser and all the MCU Phase 4 updates. Download the IGN app on all your mobile devices. Check out the fix of entertainment on Snapchat. And for all things everything else, keep it locked right here on IGN.